So I'm talking about future expansion with Tesla. Did you see this? A new 500 kilowatt Tesla supercharging station is now under construction in Campbell, California, just outside of San Jose. This is going to be the world's first 500 kilowatt supercharger that's in place. It's going to feature the next gen power electronics, the ultra fast charging options as well. Cybertruck specifically is going to benefit the most from this because it has 123 kilowatt hour battery pack. It's going to go from what is currently 325 kilowatt peak charging rate to 500 kilowatt peak charging rate, which is actually a 30% boost in charging speed for the Cybertruck. Unfortunately, the SX3Y still stay at 250 peak charging rate for them. So I feel like this is a really big deal because when we got these V4 superchargers, a lot of people maybe didn't realize that the cabinets were still the V3 superchargers. So they were still the old superchargers, but now it really future proofs these supercharger stations because it opens it up not just to Tesla, but pretty much all vehicles. It will support anywhere from 400 volt to a thousand volt architecture system. So yeah. again, it, it's future proofing the entire superchargers. Yeah, and this is exactly why the SX3Y kind of stay in that lower threshold for now, which again begs the question, where is the long term plan for these vehicles? Is this redesign going to eventually give these guys the option or is Tesla just going heavy on other areas? you know, robo taxi type services versus the personalized mm. vehicle.